What's good YouTube, your boy Proxy back here again with another punish guide. Let's talk about how to punish Sub-Zero. First off, we have Link with Storm at negative 7 frames. Firstly, this string has a gap that you can armor through. Secondly, punishable by an equivalent to less reversal such as Lee Maze and Han Shizy Lion. Lastly, full combo punishable by a character with a 6 frame starter such as Liu Kang. Next we have Arctic Armor. This string has the same previous gap. In addition, it also has another gap in the last hit of the string. So let's talk about the Sub-Zero Overhead Slide gimmick. Usually involves a string possessing an overhead ender that can be substituted with high slide that's a low. So either the overhead comes out or the low. This is not a real 50-50, it's fake. The overhead for this one specifically comes out at 21 frames, whilst the low comes out at 14 frames. There's a 7 frame difference meaning you can fuzzy guard it and cover both options. If they use the slide, you get a full combo punish. Following up, we are frozen over negative 7 frames. Punishable by a reversal such as Limi's. In addition, punishable by a 6 frame starter. Next, we are freezing point at negative 12 frames. String is punishable on block. Be careful though, some armors do not work against this gap. Next, we have cold front at negative 9 frames. General rule of thumb is a down one can be punished by a down one. Additionally, can be punished by reversals such as Limi's. Following up, we have Blistering Blizzard at negative 7 frames. This string has a gap that you can armor through. Furthermore, punishable by reversals such as Limi's. Next, we have Whiteout at negative 7 frames. It has the same initial gap as the prior string. Additionally, it can armor through the last hit. Also punishable by reversals such as Limi's. This is also another string that is used for the overhead ice light fake 50 50. Overhead comes out at 22 frames here, so now you have an 8 frame gap. Next, we have spinal top at negative 23 frames. String is punishable on block. This string is also used for the 50 50 overhead ice light, but it's the fakest of all the options. The second hit of spinal top is not even an overhead, it's actually a high. This means that you can block low to cover both options, and you're rewarded the punish for blocking both options. Next, we have Slip Slide at negative 7 frames. This is punishable by reversal such as Limi's. Also punishable by a character with a 6 frame starter such as Liu Kang. Following up, we have Shin Shata at negative 7 frames. Punishable by reversal such as Limi's. In addition, also punishable by a character with a 6 frame starter such as Liu Kang. Next, we have Pomafrost. This string has a gap that you can armor through. Note, however, some armors may not work against this gap. Next, we have Low Step at negative 9 frames. Punishable by a down one. Also punishable by reversal such as Limi's. Let's move on to his specials. First, we have Ice Ball at negative 11 frames. Punishable of close. Move as a ridiculous startup so it's also interruptible. Also punishable at farther distances once you catch him in the animation. Be careful when trading projectiles, as this is not a favorable trade. Same rules apply to the enhanced version. Projectile trade is even more unfavorable as it now breaks all projectiles. Next, we have Ice Clone at negative 22 frames. You can armor through it and punish him if you catch him early enough. If you mistime it, he'll be safe. This special is also part of the few down one gimmicks in the game. Here's some counterplay to it. Raiden can use Storm Cell and punish it. Lucan can use Enhanced Dragon's Breath to punish it. Reptile can also punish it with Force Ball. He can also punish it with Standing 3 and convert into Scorpion. Kong Lao can punish it with Enhanced Back Forward 2 and convert into Guru. Shao Kahn can actually punish it with Chain Arm and Convert. These are just some examples. You should love this to figure out if you have any options against this. For the standard enhanced version, the same rules apply. There's also the other variation to the enhanced version with the multi-clone. If your armor move has great reach, you can armor through the clone to punish him. For the air version, you can dash cancel and use a string with good reach or use a forward advancing move to try to catch him and punish him. For the air version of multi-clone, same rules for ground version applies. Next, we have Ice Clone Charge at negative 16 frames. Move is punishable up close. It can be armored through at mid distances. Safe otherwise. Same rules apply to the enhanced version. Following up, we have Ice Slide at negative 22 frames. Special is punishable on block. Same rules apply to the enhanced version. Next, we have the Suspect 1 Diving Glacier at negative 16 frames. The frame data shown here is inaccurate. This move's frame data changes based on distance. For example, you can see here it's negative 6, negative 10, and negative 12. It's constantly changing. The closer Sub does this move to you, the more unsafe his frames get. The farther he does it, the more safe he gets. 
So yes, that's why it feels like sometimes you can't punish this move because you simply sometimes cannot. You'll have to use your discretion to determine whether or not the move was used at a distance that affords you the frames to punish it on block. I forgot to highlight this in his punish guide, but Kong Lao's dive kick is the same. It changes based on distance, as you can see on the frame meter. Therefore, the same rules apply to his dive kick when determining whether you can punish it or when it's safe. Back to Sub-Zero's dive in Glacier. You can also enter it with a string or special to punish it. Be careful however, a slight mistiming will get you punished for attempting these options. Furthermore, this move can be up-blocked, making it punishable from any distance that it's used. This is the guaranteed punish option. The enhanced version is negative 29 frames. Enhancing the move also changes its properties. It's now a launcher. Special is punishable on block. Dash cancel to confirm the punisher for the distances. Next, we have deadly vapors at negative 20 frames. Punishable on block up close, generally safe at farther distances. Same rules apply to the enhanced version. Lastly, we have a spater blow that can be punished normally by blocking and dash cancelling to confirm the punish. Okay, so let's get into his meta cameo chameleon. He affords sub a plethora of different combo routes and make his 50-50 game non-fraudulent. For example, this 50-50 has a full frame grab as chameleon's overhead is ridiculously quick. It can be fuzzied. The only option here is to guess right or try to react to the mix. Trying to react by guarding low, then reacting to the overhead is your best bet. You'll still get opened up sometimes. If you guess right, you're granted the punish for both routes. And don't think about blocking the overhead and taking the low because it's an ender. You can actually combo off ice slide with Melina's disguise. I'm trash at sub, so a sub min will definitely punish you harder. This mix is usually incorporated in a variety of his strings, so be on the lookout for it when the chameleon is in a Melina disguise. Note, you cannot block low against the spinal tap gimmick because now it's real and not fraudulent when he has Melina disguise. He can cancel into either ice slide or Melina overhead, so take note of that. Lastly, be on the lookout for Yolo ice slides when chameleon has Kitana's disguise. She can actually make him safe with fan lift. Even if their timing is off, it'll disrupt some of your punishes. Also, look out for a lot of ice slide cancels from a strength that end with overheads when chameleon has Kitana's disguise. This is because the fan lift allows him to convert out the ice slide. I already showed you how to counter these. Y'all seen them combos though? I cooked! <laughs> but anyway, that's all from me. Hope this video provided some value to you and if it did, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel for more content to come. I'm out. One love.